When it was day, certain sons of Belial banded together, and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed the king. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, and the king's chamberlain sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus, and they were more than 40 which had made this conspiracy, and the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen, and Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And the conspirators came to the chief priests and elders, and said, We have bound ourselves under a great curse, that we will eat nothing until we have slain the king. Now therefore ye with the council signify to the chief captain that he bring him down unto you tomorrow, as though ye would inquire something more perfectly concerning him, and we, or ever he come near, are ready to kill him. And when Mordecai heard of their lying in wait, he went and entered into the castle, and told the king, then the royal apparel was brought, and the king's white horse, and Mordecai was arrayed, and brought on horseback through the street of the city, and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor. And they blew the trumpet, and all the people said, God save Jesus, now King Solomon.